the cooling breath is um, just a reminder. I think we've done it in here before, but um, just to say, so you're going to stick your tongue out and curl it. And just remembering that there's a genetic variation in which some of us are not able to curl our tongues. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Your tongue might just not do that. In that case, you just stick it out. But the idea is a long, slow breath in through like the straw of your tongue on the inhale. So And then just exhaling through your nose. And we're just going to breathe like that. And if you have any trouble with it, feel free to raise your hand or write in the chat, just inhaling. Through curled tongue and exhaling through your nose. And your hands can be anywhere on your body that feels good. And if it feels right, you just bring your awareness to anywhere in your body that needs some cooling. So if there's any place that's feeling hot or tense or tight or inflamed, or anywhere in your emotional body. So if there's something that you're particularly upset about at the moment, maybe just breathing that cooling breath into that space. I especially like to do this, like if I'm mad about anything, I tend to feel it sort of in this part of my chest and behind my occiput and coming down my vagus. And so I just breathe that cooling breath right into that physical expression, that energetic expression and the emotional texture of my anger or my rage and just breathe right into that. Just notice what happens as you breathe into that place of heat or tension or inflammation or anger. And when you're ready, just in your own time, you might want to continue. But whenever you're ready to just release the breath practice and just sit quietly, just feeling 
or experience in this moment, noting any changes. And then just releasing any efforting whatsoever, just sitting quietly, 